going on guys we're out here on a monday afternoon doing some on course work all right so i'm gonna get a few swings in i love getting out getting some reps fortunate to have a nice quiet afternoon so we're gonna hit some divots get some big drives out there basically i want to give you a little insight into where the game's at a couple of things i'm working on and what i think you can take out of that you know hit a little better hit a little deeper and go strong let's go So right now, irons are on a different level. I'm crunching them. Those divots, the flight, the feel, that's what it's all about. So really happy there. I'm pretty much able to hit that flight that I want, hit a draw, hit a fade. I like to move the ball. I like to be a little bit creative. I very rarely just play a stock shot because it don't work, all right? So I have to be creative. I have to kind of feel something and really commit to that shot. One thing that's helping with the irons, Test myself a little set of TCB Raw. I'll tell you all about them later, but I'm trying to get the driver going as well, obviously. So what I'm working on the swing is kind of maintaining much more of a center position. Feeling as though for me, I'm staying much more on my left side because I've always had a big shift onto the right, feeling like I'm trying to muscle that ball out there as far as possible. So once I get into the irons, I'm pretty comfortable staying further left, just hit more down on it, get more turf, I haven't quite figured out with the driver yet, all right? So let's go make a couple more swings and I'm gonna try and piece this together. So you can see with these swings here that and this is probably something you can relate to that despite being a pro having some good club head speed still try and help the ball with the driver still try and help it into the air still try and do more than i need to instead of trusting the rotation staying in the shot just delivering the face all right so you can see here i'm trying to stay away from too much of that movement trying to manage the face into the ball but also trying to absolutely smash it all right so there's always a balance to be found always trying to get more efficient and at times this year my driving has been unreal and that's kind of the deal i guess in that when you go high speed when you hit it far hit it far when you miss you're gonna miss pretty good as well a couple of snap hooks will light you right up pretty quick so a couple more holes i keep getting into these shots i want to show you a few more divots as well uh, but let's figure this out let's hit some big long drives Straight up, that wedge I just hit might have been one of the best swings I ever made. And kind of got me thinking about the, the setup position, kind of one playing deal, because a lot of people do ask about that, why I do it, kind of how it works. But getting those high hands does two things for me, basically. One, it allows me to just free wheel. I, I just feel as though I've got to turn the body, put as much power into the ball as I want to. I don't have to think about the club. All right, I'm just trying to return to where I started out. It just takes out the complexity of the wrist tension and for me my frame my body the way i'm swinging it right now 
it just allows me to separate myself in terms of ball striking because irons at least it is pretty damn good and then the other thing it really gives me a good visual on the face at address all right so when i have my hands in a neutral position just to my eye the face sits a little up sits a little closed so when i push those hands forwards i get that nice look of just leading edge to the ground neutral club face and again just allows me to rotate like crazy put beating on the ball so that's where i'm at with that just about to finish out this hole that was wedged into a part five you know it's downwind didn't quite catch the driver either but let's see if we can get it going with the driver so i want to feel that decent swing out there and i want to show you what it looks like Think we're getting it figured out guys so as i said before despite the speed despite knowing what i'm trying to do it's so easy to kind of lose your spine angle try and throw everything up to the sky and try and launch a driver like crazy all right that's what i've been doing i've been doing that since the day i started playing golf so it's an ingrained habit but you gotta trust it that swing there is what i'm trying to work on I'm trying to stay more in the shot more core engagement more pressure into the ground so you can get pressure out of the ground and then you hit a nice t-ball like that one all right so a little insight into some of my practice today i do try and get more scoring rounds in it's not something that i've been as good at as i should have been and as i said before i'm going to do something with this game guys i appreciate you all being along with us on the journey hopefully we're helping out with your game if we're not already make sure we do go get yourself the app tag us in online whether there's swings whether it's training let's build on this momentum guys all right this is the strongest movement in golf subscribe to the channel the golf strong.